Do you get intimidated when you listen to the word stock market? Oh, you from a non-finance background. Don't worry, I am. With over 15 years of my teaching experience, I have designed 7 plus courses where you can learn from the basics of stock market to the most advanced concepts in the most simplified way. No confusion, easy to understand step by step lessons. Gain knowledge, gain confidence. Enroll now. Hey folks, CA Rachna Ranade here and I welcome you all to another Thursday live stream. Today I'm not at my home, I'm at my mom's place. So I was just able, I mean, I was not able to figure out how the camera should be set up. I had got my webcam without fail. This did not work. I had got an external mic, but this was also not working. But I hope I'm audible properly. Please let me know quickly in the comment section whether I'm properly audible or not so that we can get started with uh, the whole analysis of Nifty. Uh, Raj Gopal is already saying, but Nifty non-stop fall is what he is saying. In fact, uh, got one more from Manoj GPT. No, Manoj PGT. Mala GPT is what? Hi, ma'am. Asa kasa ka hai? Asa kasa kya hai to Nifty? Absolutely. Chalo, fantastic. Uh, audible? Fantastic. Okay, great, great, great. Thank you, Himanji, for the super sticker right away. <laughs> right? So, yes, audible. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Chalo, so, uh, if you remember uh, last Thursday when we had discussed, if you remember the thumbnail of last Thursday, I had said that, uh, you know, <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Parakavi is saying, Rashna ma'am, you are now a doctor because you are going to say reports of Nifty. Kya baat hai? Kya baat hai? Nice. So, uh, coming back to our discussion, if you remember last Thursday, we had discussed as to why I feel that it should be a wait and watch strategy. Uh, you know, even though we were not in a very bad zone last Thursday, I was not getting that uh, confidence of the bull momentum being, you know, going on. And that was the reason why I said I was, I'm a bit confused. I would not want to buy uh, anything right now. And that is why uh, I just thought of, you know, go, going ahead with a wait and watch strategy. Now, uh, those who are traders, they will be like, Are ma'am, if you would have told that this is the right time to sell off, it would have been great. But then our channel is not for trading, right? Our channel is from the investing perspective. And that is the reason why today I thought that if we were to understand this, if we were to analyze this fall, what would happen? Uh, should this be a time to panic more? Uh, should this be a time where we can expect a reversal? What could happen is what we are going to discuss in today's session. So very, very important session is what uh, we are going to understand today. So first of all, let me just quickly present my screen. And uh, then I, I can see a lot of members joining in today, uh, new members joining in. So would definitely want to welcome everyone. But after I'm done with the nifty base analysis, right? So now you can see here what has happened since our last Thursday, right? Last Thursday, we were somewhere here. And from that, dhar, 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 three days back to back fall. So I'm just going to quickly clear off everything. Today, I'm going to just go with a very base analysis, okay? Let me just clear off this as well, pivot. So, you know, because today I can see a lot of people who are joining for the first time. Just in case if you don't know how to put on indicators, I think I should also quickly tell how these indicators can be put up, right? So first and foremost, whenever we are wanting to check a long-term support, ideally what we should check out is the moving average, okay? So moving average exponential is what I'm going to choose right now. And now if you see here, this is a nine days exponential moving average. Are we way below that? Yes. So in the, in the short term, are we in a bearish phase? Absolutely, yes. Now, we have to understand that in a longer term, what is the scenario? So ideally, first, we'll check the 50 days moving average, which is like a medium term. And then we'll go ahead with a longer term, which is a 200 demo, 200 days moving average. So first, let me just check for uh, 50, one minute. Okay, now if I check for 50 days moving average, um, are we still way below that answer is yes. So even in the medium term, seems to be some sort of bearishness. Can't see any support right away. But now that we are trying to test the 200 days moving average, see how fantastically 
it has absolutely tested the 200 days moving average i'm going to zoom in this candle zoom in into this candle and look at this the 200 day moving average is at 18835.85 and today's low is at 18837 so this has been very well respected, the 200 days moving average. So at least do I feel that, okay, at a long term average, at least it has taken a support and answer is yes. If this is broken, then it may lead to a further fall. Okay, but I personally believe if, if you have been following the Thursday live streams rigorously, then I had mentioned about this level. First, I said psychological level is 19,000. But if that is broken, then 18,800 we, we can check out. And this was the 200 days moving average that you have to understand is ideally going to act like a very, very good support. Now, if certain developments happen, which are beyond our knowledge today, then it could be a problem. Now, always remember, it is said that gaps are filled up typically. Okay. Now, which gaps can we see here? We can see here first gap. This was not, I mean, it did not sustain this one this one gone and the next gap that we can see here i'm just going to zoom this in see uh, let me just zoom this in absolutely nicely so you can see here right this is the june rally where we can see one two three four four days five days back to back gap up close upper side back to back gap up close upper side so here you can see here this gap was not honored this gap was not honored and now we are at this grand finale gap okay now, if I were to zoom out again, this level coincides with the 200 days moving average. So which is which is the level that you have to absolutely look out for? It is the level of 18,800. I want everyone to write down this level 18,800. Now, why am I saying this is a super, super important, crucial level? Uh, because as I mentioned that, OK, now let me just zoom out a little bit also. Now, if you see here, which was the previous closing? So right now we talked about this, right? June 23. Now I'm taking you back. Now, this was the level that we had seen again in December 22, previous year, right? And you can see here, this was the high point. Intraday, it closed again at this level. Previous day, it had touched a high of this level. So 18,800 has been tested once, twice. Here you can see four, five, six times it has been tested. And right now we can see 200 days moving average and this candle also coming up here right away. So if you ask me, can this be a good support? And I personally believe my answer is yes. Okay. What am I going to do? Am I going to sell off at this level? Am I going to add something at this level? I am going to discuss about that. But before that, let us also check what does the pivot point have to say about this? So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. Um, Indicators can't be gone. One minute. Screen has gone beyond my reach. Wait, let me just stop sharing first. Why can't I see the screen? It's coming a little bit. Okay, one minute. Pivot. But point standard. I'll have to share my screen again, of course. But before that, let me just quickly pull it up. Pivot point standard back one. And okay. So I'll go back to my screen and present screen share. I'll share my whole screen. Share. All right. So now, if you see here, I am at pivot point level, okay? Now, if you see here, pivot point, so we had drawn this one, 18,800, the 200 demo. Second one was the line that we traced back almost till December 2022, and this is also 18,800. And here, if you see S2, support 2 is at 18,738, so just barely 100 points here and there. But now, if this 18,700, 18,800 is broken as per pivot, the next level can be directly around 18,200, okay? Um, expecting this question mark, I really doubt as of now. It seems a little bit difficult, seems a bit tricky. Now, let us also try and draw a Fibonacci. So, I'll just quickly close the pivot point so that again we get a clearer graph. So, I'm also going to close this one. Okay, I'll also hide this. 
okay now this was the previous low that we had seen so i'm going to do alt f and i'm going to join the lowest point to the highest point right here and you can see that this 18,931, which was the support, has been broken for the first time today. As per Fibonacci, the next level is at 18,530. And typically, we do see that, uh, you know, what happens is 18,000, 18,500, 19,000, all these 500, 500 gaps generally act as a mental support. So if you ask me, 18,800 is the first big support. If that, which is where we have closed today. And if that is broken, then I feel the second support should be around 18,500. Now, which could be the worst level that I can see as of today is also what we are going to discuss. Uh, but before that, before I discuss the worst level, are you getting a confidence on 18,800 level? Did you understand why I came up to that level? Why did I derive that level? If you have understood this, just quickly put up a yes in the chat box. If you feel you can also smash the like button uh, because, you know, I'm just trying to see the ratio. Today, I can see a lot of people joining in. Almost 2,400 people are live right now. But out of 2,400, 2,500 people, <laughs> number of likes, 343. 343. Chalo, quickly smash the like button. At least take it beyond 1,000 at least. And I can see a lot of yes in the comment section. Kya baat hai? Yes, it's a good news, ma'am ji. Kya baat hai? Raj, Raj Gopalan is also happy with the level. Uh, Sayed is saying yes, but no confidence that it will hold. Exactly. Now, that is the second question that we have to try and understand that if this is broken, then what? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Pranav says, I had hit like within 100. Kya baat hai? Still barely 700 likes, 2,500 viewers. Uh, Siddharth says, when the market falls highest views, I know Siddharth, everyone uh, wants to know what could be the worst, worst thing is that that is the reason why a, a lot of people are here. But others also, you have to pay attention that even on other Thursdays also, we give a lot of input and I'm sure those who attend every Thursday, they feel very confident about what is happening in the market. You know, it's, it's an investment in time for barely half an hour every week, once a week, half an hour. If you invest your time, you will get to know about what's happening around the market. Of course, you're not going to get any tips here, unfortunately, but you will get a global view about the economics. You'll understand the levels in Nifty. You'll understand about some stock specific news and so many points that come up during our Thursday live streams. So every Thursday, 9.30 p.m., uh, I do make a specific effort of not missing any Thursday live stream. Today also I had gone for uh, a party and I'm back before 9 30 and i'm here doing the live stream with you all pranav says i had bumped last thursday class to watch the match live in pune Kya baat hai? but i did the homework by watching the video thank you thank you for now okay chalo 9 52 likes 26 50 number of viewers that are watching live uh fata fat, fata fat. Chalo, take it past thousand uh so what did we discuss 18,800. i hope you're writing this down second one is 18,500. the psychological support third one we said 18,200. but <coughs> i personally feel 18,800 can be honored a little bit is what I feel. But uh, right now, I know US markets are also not doing that great. Not good news coming in from uh, Europe. Uh, and, and there are a lot of pain points which are also there in the market. Achha, now I'm going to tell you some amazing information. Okay. And this information is going to be about how can we try and correlate what happened during the Russia-Ukraine war. How did the markets react? How much point fall? How much points fall did we see during the Russia-Ukraine war? And if that were to repeat, if we were to go ahead with history repeats itself criteria, then what could be the possible fall is what we are going to understand right now. Okay. Now I want everyone to pay attention. If you have a pen and paper, I would want to write. I, I would want every one of you to write down these levels uh, of what happened. Achha, what I will do for your benefit, I'll quickly share my screen also. So this is just small data points <coughs> that me and my team had just uh, you know quickly jotted down uh, no fancy presentation per se uh, but this is just some quick information for you all okay let me just check on my mobile as well if you are able to watch this properly uh, 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 because i've done it on full screen i'm not sure whether you are able to watch this or not 
just quickly checking it yes it's visible okay fantastic right now if you see here 23rd february was the day when russia ukraine war broke out okay our market reacted on 24th february where we saw almost 500 points gap down okay please pay attention to this data 17th june so february to march april may and half of june so three and a half months within next three and a half months markets went down to 15304 this was the lowest point so what i've done the day when russia ukraine war broke out i have dotted that level and the lowest point on the lowest the lowest point that we saw that that was on 17th june i have also dotted that point now try to calculate how much was the percentage downfall the percentage downfall was 10.2% okay now it, that happened in how many number of days that happened in barely 115 days less than 4 months okay previous high that we saw was around 19th of october that is 18619 so now if you can see just just pay attention okay 18 19th october this is 2022 na 2000 correct 2022 i am referring to correct after that you can understand then 17043 then 16545 then 15304 so if i calculate the total fall from the highest point to this point this was around 17000 seven, 17.79% so was that from the all time high i'm saying the then all time high to the russia ukraine lows it was around 17.79% fall and a fall of 240 days i don't think we should really focus on this right now but what we can focus is on this 10.2% downfall that is from russia ukraine war till the lowest point now let's try and understand what is the current scenario israel hamas war 15 september 2023 nifty was at 20138 points okay nifty on 6th october before the war broke out <coughs> or i can say <coughs> the day the war broke out it was at 19613 it was friday there so our market are 9th of october it opened barely 100 points gap down around that and a lot of ground was covered on the same day as well okay now nifty today since that day nifty today is 18857 okay now if you can see fall from the all time high is 6.36% but fall from 9th october the day that this fall started is 3.85% now if i were to calculate uh, 19516 let me just quickly calculate you can also calculate for yourself see here what we are going to do is this was almost a 10% fall right point to bulja 10% fall so if i were to do 19613 cut 10% fall let me see if you can get this basic math i have got the answer uh, but 19613 cut 10% fall what does that come up to quickly tell me what is your answer 19602 ka 10% fall what is your answer fatafat tell me this is the worst case scenario that i'm discussing okay worst case i i personally do not uh, feel uh, that this level could really come up uh kya baat hai i'm getting quick answers and correct answers and the answer is 17651.7 that is what even i've calculated roughly 10% down it's 17651 rounding off to 17600 okay is that a little bit scary level if you ask me kind of yes 17600 seems to be scary we are at 18800 right now so that is another 800 points down from here okay now if you ask me do i feel that this is going to be achieved right away my answer is no i don't think this will this will be achieved right away but then what could be a strategy in this is the next big question okay so whatever i'm doing right now so first of all what i did was technical analysis okay by technical analysis that is how i calculated the 18800 level second thing what we do is basic understanding of the market and basic understanding of the market ke liye i also have my course right on basics of stock market where i've also discussed in detail about how different situations impact 
the market so we have discussed how elections impact the stock market i had i had uh, told i have told in that course how you know different situations like war impact the stock market so if you have still not you know uh, checked out my course on basics of stock market please do check that in that i have not explained only 70 plus terminologies about stock market but i have also you know mentioned about how different conditions impact the stock market also don't forget to check out my course on technical analysis whereby you will understand how you can typically understand different levels the buying levels uh, the selling levels a lot of things is what we can understand in that course acha before before there, there's also one more crazy point that i have to discuss about uh, the pe ratio but before i talk about the pe ratio last thursday i just recalled one point related to the last thursday would quickly want to clarify that uh, so i'm just put, pulling out my website which is rachnaranade.com uh, will definitely go ahead with uh stop screen kyu aa raha hai present screen share hmm all right uh quickly sharing my screen so just in case for those who have returned to our thursday live stream after a long time 3500 people watching live if you have forgotten about our courses these are the three levels of courses one is a beginner level course one is an intermediate level course one is an advanced course and if you click the other courses tab that is where you can see mastering money management in kannada mastering money management in telugu mastering money management in tamil if you want to learn in my mother tongue mastering money management in marathi that is arthik vyavasthapana chi saptapadi and mastering money management course in in english as well so it's a very very happy moment for me uh, because you know like our prime minister uh, shri narendra modi ji had come up with this concept of har ghar tiranga i thought of coming up with har ghar investor campaign and because it is an har ghar investor campaign i thought that i should come up with my courses in all possible languages so to kick start i have come up with english marathi tamil telugu and kannada so if you really want to learn in your own language then please don't forget to check out rachnaranade.com and c a r r y p is the coupon code that you can use uh, so that you can also get some additional discount that is what you can see on the screen as well uh, i can see few more language requests coming up one is in bengali someone is saying rajasthani uh, we will 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 try and come up with those languages as well in the near future but as of now five languages uh, so you can definitely check that out right well so uh, now let's go back to our discussion about uh, we talked about levels so three levels is what i feel we should keep in our mind right now and what could be a strategy acha i'll tell you what am i going to do most important point coming up okay what am i going to do in this fall am i selling off my shares from my portfolio right now my answer is no everyone has to take their own decision is this an investment advice no is this any buy sell advice no of course not i'm just telling you what am i going to do because i am a long term investor i don't believe in timing the market i believe that yes we should try and look at situations from a different perspective so i believe this is like a pre diwali sale okay that has started in the market and because it's a pre diwali discount offer that is running in the market i should try and see if i can average out some good stocks see i'm sure that everyone might have seen right now that there there were certain stocks which were which are very good which are fundamentally strong stocks but they were available at very high prices until last two or three weeks okay so i'll before i talk about uh, the p e ratio i would just quickly want to tell you again i'm presenting my screen but please 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 this is not a, st a stock advice right but i'm just quickly telling you how can we check the fall in share prices and how can we really benefit from that now if you see here i discussed that index fell by how much percent 3.45% this week one day is remaining okay index has fallen down by almost 3.5% top 5 stocks i mean top 5 stocks that fell this week upl adani enterprises wipro jsw steel divis labs tata motors okay we are, we are not going to discuss about these stocks just took this from a, a website but big names is what i would want to focus on okay market has fallen down by 3.5% but big names like lnt has fallen down by 5.4% infosys has fallen down by 5.6% example titan has fallen down by 5.5% so what what am i going to do whichever stocks are there in my portfolio 
and if i feel that yes this is a fundamentally strong stock i feel that this is a good level at which this stock is at right now i am going to invest one third of whatever i plan to invest okay out of these stocks or whatever additional stocks uh, i have talked about this so many times on on our channel that yes i i am invested in stocks like rec in bharti airtel in dixon technologies what not whatever la la la, la lnt whatever so out of whatever stocks i feel that okay these are fundamentally strong stocks and assume that i want to invest 100 quantity in some xyz stock out of that 100 one third so around 33 stocks okay i would want to invest at this very level i am going to do that okay so tomorrow only i want to track the market tomorrow or on monday if i'm getting the stocks around the same level in fact what i am going to do is that i am also going to uh, average or add more into my nifty 50 index mutual fund okay or i may also add up in nifty etfs right so one more time i'm telling you either in nifty etf or nifty 50 index mutual fund 18800 is my first support level can this be broken very well yes can the market rebound from here very well yes no one knows whether this is the rock bottom or not and that is the simple reason why you have to test yourself you have to test your patience and you have to keep on averaging at three or five levels so either you go one fifth one fifth one fifth one fifth one fifth or you can go one third one third one third so what i personally am going to do i'm going to invest a third at this current level 18800 the next one third i would go around i would wait and watch a little bit and would invest somewhere around if you remember there was an 18200 level also and the third one was around 17,600, the worst level that I can see as of today. Okay. <clears throat> so these are the three levels that I have written down for myself. And I would want to invest at these three different levels. Uh, so now comes one more question is that, okay, we have understood the levels. Uh, everyone can do their own analysis. Whichever stocks you feel are fundamentally strong. If you feel, okay, even I feel these are the levels. Or maybe someone is invested in an index at a nifty level only. And if you feel that, okay, these are good levels, my suggestion to you all would be, please never invest at one time. It's never wise to invest entire money at one shot. Do your own analysis and invest at multiple levels. This is nothing but like doing an SIP, right? But instead of every single month, you chalk out levels for yourself and you can, you know, uh, invest at these specific levels. Uh, now, what can be done? The next point that we have to try and analyze, and I think that should be just last one or two points now. You have to understand that what is the P.E. ratio of Nifty as well, because uh, I did see certain comments that uh, what about P.E.? Is it is, is the market expensive even today or not? Or is market now available at a comparatively lower price? So I, I even tried to check that P.E. ratio in the last uh, I, I checked for last almost three, four years data. High that I could see was around 22.81. I'm repeating P.E. ratio high I could see in the last few months here. It was around 22.81. P ratio today, as on date, is 20.29. Okay. Please don't calculate percentage for and all that. Okay. It's a, it's a multiple. Okay. Percentage generally is not to be taken out here. So 22.81 was high. 20.29 is where we are today. And in the last one year, the lowest multiple that we have seen, I'm repeating the lowest P multiple that we saw in the last one year was around 19.97. Let's round it off to 20. Okay. So lowest multiple that we have seen in last one year is 20. Today, we are already at 20.29. So based on P ratio also, I really don't see a reason why it should like crash like anything unless and until some, you know, there are some, some improvements, uh, a negative improvements, I should say, uh, in war-related situation. Uh, we, I mean, no one would want that, but there are things which are beyond our control. And unfortunately, if the war keeps on continuing, and if more and more countries were to take sides, then the, the worst levels that we discussed today, around 70,600, hopefully doesn't happen. I am always happy when all my money doesn't get invested. I'm happy even if only one third gets invested. But uh, a deep cut in... Uh, nifty is not what uh, a lot of people enjoy right <clears throat> but are there further reasons which could lead into a slight deeper cut and un answer is unfortunately yes if you have been following my thursday live streams regularly without fail we have been talking about something known as bond yields 
right and if you are following the us bond yields they have crossed the benchmark 5% rate 5% for us 10 year treasury the bond yield right for 10 year treasury, uh, treasury bond 5% is like very high and it touched 5.02% on monday where it broke a 16 year high now what happens is that typically when us 10 year treasury bonds keep on hitting higher highs obviously fias are going to be tempted to sell from our market or any other market right and they are going to shift their money to bonds now if more and more bonds are being brought in of course it is going to impact the yields uh, so always remember yields and stock market is going to go in an inverse relationship if the yields rise markets are going to fall and maybe that is the reason why the rising yields are the reason why fias have been net sellers for almost last 2 3 months so uh, fias were i can just check out the data quickly august also they were net sellers september they were net sellers august is 20620 crores september is 26692 crores net sellers i am telling you and even for the month of october they are net sellers still date it is 17396 crores so if fias are still continuously on a selling spree that again is not a good sign of course because of amazing retail individual investor support because mutual fund sips are hitting higher highs that is the reason why at least dis have the power to you know buy or uh, absorb the supply that fias are actually putting or pushing in the market so uh, although fias have been net sellers in the last three months dis have been buying in uh, but if they keep on selling that's not going to be a very good sign that is one point second point is the rise in us dollar index uh, okay so if if you are not really aware about what is us dollar index i'm not going to go into a lot of details today but we'll just quickly tell you it's it's an index which is like a basket and basket of six key major currencies in the whole world okay now if us dollar index if that gains strength then again it is not considered as a good sign for stock market so you can just remember this just or if you can note it down if you want dollar index and stock market is again going to have an inverse relationship if dollar index rises our market is going to fall and vice versa so if you want to write write this down yields and stock market also inverse relationship dollar index and stock market also inverse relationship and typically yields bond yields and dollar index they go hand in hand they go in a direct relationship okay so i hope you have understood because yields are rising that's not a good sign for our market because us dollar index is rising that's not a good sign for our market <coughs> and <coughs> that is the reason why i feel that even though 18800 is a very solid support technically uh, if it gets broken i would not want to you know be like oh my god i've invested my entire money i would never do that anyways but uh, i feel that is the reason why investing in chunks from this level makes sense right the final blow uh, from the macroeconomic perspective uh, i'm going to tell you is about a possible recession in england okay i want everyone to pay attention to this as well there is a possible recession in england and why am i saying that acha first of all just in case if you don't know what is recession it's usually defined when gdp falls for two quarters in a, a, a consecutively basically in a row back to back if gdp falls then we say that an economy is going to a is going into a recession now the quarterly gdp growth of uk for the previous two quarters was 0.3% and 0.2% which was indicating a decline and there is a likely recession so if this likely recession turns into an actual recession then this is again going to cause a big problem what about the interest rates in england again interest rates are still at a very high number it's at 5. Point, so 5.25 and 6.7% these these figures are crazy and what is the target it's 2% so interest rates not in check uh, if i'm talking about chances of recession yes two bad news from england us bond yield very high us dollar index very high so all in all from a global perspective if you ask me it's not a very happy news uh, and that could be a possible reason why we may expect 
a little bit more cut and uh, just wanted everyone so uh, in such situations i always give a disclaimer that i would be really happy if the market proves me wrong uh, if markets were to say that rashnay you know 18500 never ha never happened uh, 17600 never happened it just bounced back from here i would be happy uh, to be proven to be wrong i always love when markets are going higher and higher uh, but Uh, looking at the overall global news see so what what my intent is is that because everyone who is watching this stream right now i'm sure that you are not full time into markets i'm sure everyone is either doing a job or you have your own business or you have your own profession uh, and that is the reason why i feel that you may not find time to follow macroeconomic news related to bond yields or dollar index or about the war updates about stock market so if you do not find time then i i do have a team to help me out to compile data and what i try to do is just summarize this data try and put it in a crisp format and put it in front of you during our thursday live streams so uh, that is that is the whole thought process right uh, so those who have been following the channel regularly know this nothing about tips 100% knowledge is what you can definitely get here i would quickly want to welcome a uh, new members chirag kalim uh, sukant geeta uh manoj pgt uh then sambhaji uh, all well, welcome all to memberships uh i hope a uh, yeah, few more abhinandan and uh am i done all right okay imran sai krishna a big 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 welcome to everyone to our memberships uh those who have joined comparatively recently uh, you might be aware uh, that we have recently stopped uh, super chats on our channel the reason being very simple i just wanted to ensure that i try to give maximum attention to everyone's chat that is the whole thought process and i'm very very happy that a lot of people have joined in today and would request everyone who is watching the stream today uh, that you should make a point to watch the thursday live streams at least first 20 minutes first 25 minutes wherein i i try my level best to summarize the whole economic situation i try to summarize the key points that have, have happened in the whole week and i try to put it in front of you so if me and my team are taking efforts and if more and more people are there to watch always uh, is is a good pleasure to uh, watch uh, you know so many people checking out this live stream a big 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 thank you to rajesh Uh, and gifts membership to others this is how it's not about only you who is taking the membership you are ensuring that you make others join the membership and you help my mission of uh, spreading har ghar investor and by the way rajesh congratulations your membership has been gifted to meet shah so meet you are the lucky one uh, youtube has gifted you the membership which rajesh has rajesh has actually gifted it to you uh, and a big thank you big shout out to rajesh again for keeping up the spirit uh, even rajesh war uh, big welcome to our memberships any quick questions i've been talking for the last <coughs> 45 minutes uh, but uh, quick questions if you have anything you can just ask me uh, are wa kya baat hai meet is saying thank you kya baat hai rajesh thank you says meet okay uh, quick quick questions if you have any on the macro level things is is what i would want to ask because right now speaking about stock specifics uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense if you have any questions on whatever i uh, discussed right now in the last almost 40 45 minutes i would really love to discuss about that as well um, and of course like i mentioned if you want to invest in knowledge rachanaranade.com is the website and crryt is the coupon code puja if you can just paste the link and also pin the courses ka page ka link in the comment section below uh, it will be easier for everyone to check the courses uh, oh this is not related to the market right now but what is the rule of 72 72 basically tells us within how much years your investment will double so just as an example if market is giving a return of 12% as an example so 72 divided by 12 okay in 6 years your investment will double that is the rule of 72 okay porcel uh, sorry porcel 1 m is asking is us also going to a recession 
not yet uh, i mean there were uh, certain talks about that but uh, not as of now and that is a link that uh, puja has pasted you can also check that out ranjit ji says i feel it is now sell on rise market rather than buy on dips exactly now everyone's perspective uh, sell on rise if you're doing that that could be definitely like uh, you're trying to time the market uh, might not be possible for everyone uh, so that is also important that you keep a track on the market rajesh is saying hdfc bank is breaking all crucial levels your thought please uh, in fact hdfc bank was one of the stock of the months that we discussed where in the stock of the month i try to analyze various sectors and various companies in each sector and i try to teach how to analyze companies from different sectors so if you if you were to analyze a bank then there are a bunch of parameters that you have to check and while i did the analysis of hdfc bank while i while, while i try to you know summarize a lot of information that is available in the public domain uh, about hdfc bank hdfc uh, limited merger uh, and how they have an advantage everything is there in the management con call but again you know con call is huge the transcripts run into pages so just try to summarize this and uh, although the bank is breaking crucial levels i feel fundamentally uh, if you check the finances it's a very strong stock uh, so again you can do your analysis and anyone who is investing in strong stocks you should have a patience of 4 5 years ye ye stocks bhag ke nahi jayenge kai kai pe bhi these are like stocks of nifty 50 top 50 companies of india so uh, have patience uh, believe have faith in the india story and uh, i think just stay put okay um ridhima is asking gold is also in inversely proportional to our markets and answer is yes ridhima but that would typically happen in the short to medium term if you take a long term perspective gold and market both go hand in hand typically in the upward direction uh, but if you ask me how much percentage gold should be there as a part of your portfolio <coughs> typically uh, you know uh, what what i personally feel is and and a lot of market experts also have a similar opinion out of your total portfolio 10% should be invested in gold okay this is general theory you can also search it on the internet uh, gold basically gives a cushion to your overall portfolio okay because if your if market start going down then gold will actually help you keep your portfolio afloat so uh, 10% is a base thing that you can check Emanj is saying, going by uncertainty over Middle East conflict and past history of market behavior, I feel market may go down to seventeen thousand nine hundred and then retrace for the next bull run. Hopefully, absolutely. Uh, but you know, uh, like like I always say, seventeen thousand nine hundred or six hundred, very difficult to gauge the exact rock bottom. So always better to invest in tranches. Do you spoke of Rule seventy two? Do people rule if fire? do people rule if fire ranjit ji what is that so fire is basically uh, financial independence retire early uh, so if if you can save more uh, ideally you, you can save more and if you can invest wisely then definitely that is uh, you can achieve fire at a younger age kya baat hai nikhil says macro level analysis was superb thank you nikhil and what is the status of likes people like status if it is bad if you are still not hit the like button quickly smash that like button first uh, because you know putting up all this data at one point and trying to break it down simplify it it takes a lot of effort uh, i have tried my level best to do that and i hope everyone is enjoying this macro level analysis otherwise you know what we were taught in school about economics it seemed so boring economics always felt like does it really even have some practicality but when i started to learn about economics in fact i do have a separate course on economics for stock market where i teach about uh, how how to interpret gdp how to interpret crr slr pmi so many points i have discussed in that course on economics for stock market puja if you can also paste the link of of that course in the comment section doom s l y r welcome to youtube memberships all right uh, rajesh singh your chat is very helpful thank you 
Uh, someone is asking about Bank of Maharashtra. Yes, Bank of Maharashtra had done a video on our channel only. Please do watch that. Uh, I had done a detailed analysis. I think I had done the analysis uh, while the Q1 numbers had come up. Basically, analysis as in I just tried to compare whatever were the Q1 results uh, with the other PSU banks, their Q1 results and Bank of Maharashtra Q1 results. Oh, oh. Manoj is saying, what should we do with our stocks which are on profit? Again, that's that's a very personalized thing that you can do. Uh, I mean, I, I generally, uh, whichever are, are my long-term stocks, I, I never book profits in such stocks. But, uh, you know, when I buy stocks with a very definite time frame, when I buy stocks with a particular target, and if that target is hit, then I book profits. Okay. So for example, I had taken uh, an entry in a stock with a double bottom formation pattern, or let us say with a cup and a handle pattern or a flag pattern, it did hit its target price, its target price, but assume I did not book profit there. Now market is correcting. And then I feel, okay, anyways, I'm in profit. I may book profits uh, at such stages also. But if I'm talking about stocks, which are, which I've bought for a very long term perspective, I would not uh, sell them. Kalpak, welcome to memberships. So rule of fire, you are saying. Ranjit is saying rule of fire. 25 times of your yearly expenses plus debt-free house is equal to ready for retirement. Kya baat hai? Any review of Utsav 2022? No. Okay. So I think uh, have taken... I did take a lot of macro level questions today, to be honest. Uh, Okay, uh, Bhavna is asking, do you think the crude oil price will keep on surging if other Middle East Asia countries, typically the Arab uh, countries, if they also keep on participating in the war and if they cut or if they decide the OPEC countries come together, they decide to cut the supply, uh, then it can uh, have, a, I mean, it can lead to an increase in the crude oil prices. But uh, last Thursday live stream also I had mentioned that America is playing it pretty smart. Uh, they are allowing Venezuela to increase the supply of crude oil. And Venezuela, I think, is like the third highest. Uh, it, it has the third highest reserves about crude oil. So if they are allowing Venezuela to bring in their crude oil in the market, supply will again increase and that can help to cool off the crude oil prices as well. So uh, that is that is an important one. <laughs> I love that question. <laughs> Kalpak is saying, my mom liked your kurta. She's asking where you got it from. There is a store in Pune. I think it is Kajri or Jaihin. Maybe, maybe one of those. Um, okay, Juk Juhar, welcome to memberships. Um, missed the session. Which one? 42 months member. Kya baat hai? Murli is also a 16 months member. We see cup and handle and many other patterns on stocks, but in current condition, should we still consider that it would hit target price in medium term? Uh, difficult. Uh, typically, cup and handle and up flag and all these uh, are, uh, you know, the chances of these hitting their targets are more when the market sentiment is good. Uh, typically, if uh, the market sentiment is very bad, chances of them... Uh, Hitting those targets can be a little bit less. Okay. Rafi, there. Your recommendation of Karnataka Bank a year ago was super pull for me. No, no, Rafi. You are you are getting it wrong. I don't give any recommendations. Uh, any stock that I discuss on the channel is from the perspective of telling you the whole data point in a summarized format. Uh, no recommendations on the channel. Please, please don't. Uh, Take that. Any, any video on the channel is, is nowhere even close to a recommendation. Kya baat hai? Ranjit ji is bringing in some positivity. Tomorrow is next fresh monthly cycle plus Diwali vibes, positive vibes in my opinion till Diwali. Kya baat hai? And that is the reason why I'm telling you, right? Today, because everything is down south, everyone may come up with lower and lower level targets. So I believe that this is surely a time that I'm going to put up my first one third tranche in the market tomorrow, uh, most probably tomorrow. Otherwise, Monday. Kya baat hai? Rashmi saying two years and nine months she is a member. Very nice. Praveen Shanoi is asking, ma'am, can market retrace tomorrow? 
मुझे नहीं पता है मुझे मत पूछो ना वो रील था ना वो याद आ गया ओके और राइट राजे रमेश वेलकम टू मेंबरशिप फैंटेस्टिक आई थिंक अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल ज्वाइन इन टुडे वाज अ ग्रेट सेशन ऑलमोस्ट वन आर इनटू द स्ट्रीम ऑलमोस्ट थ्री थाउजेंड पीपल वाचिंग लाइफ स्टिल एंड टुडेज होल थॉट प्रोसेस वाज जस्ट टू टेल यू अबाउट द ओवरऑल मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक सिचुएशन वाज टू टेल यू दैट डोंट फील स्केर्ड कुड कुड वी सी अ लिटिल बिट कट फ्रॉम हियर पॉसिबल बट ओवरऑल इफ यू आर आस्किंग अबाउट the economy as a whole we are still doing very well as compared to other countries so have faith in the economy have faith in stock market investing especially from a medium to longer term perspective if you ask me what will happen tomorrow i don't know if you ask me what will happen within a week it's very tough to exactly get to those numbers but macros are intact we are doing well as compared to any other uh, economy and uh, i would i would definitely suggest everyone to stay calm whenever you are taking any decision think through your decision analyze your decision properly and then only take a final call of whether you are wanting to buy or sell whatever don't take up any decision in panic don't hit the panic button think through do your proper analysis and then take a final call so today's live stream main intention was to calm you all down uh, i personally feel just to wrap up the whole story 18800 is a very good support according to me if it is broken second could be around 18200 levels third could be around 17600 levels so i hope all in all you have gotten a fair enough idea uh, and i hope you enjoy today's live stream please keep on watching these thursday live streams every thursday and i love this as a last comment coming up uh, that i always love the macro economic session on thursday live streams you people are developing interest in macro economics or kya chahiye right all right uh, i i hope you enjoy today's one uh, i'll see you on the next till then take care jai hind and bye bye